Hey guys, JT Tran here. Now, every week I tell you guys that I have a special guest, but really this week I have an incredible guest. The newest, nay, biggest Asian American male porn star to make the scenes. You might have heard of him. He is like the James Dean of Asian male porn stars. We have Jeremy Long. Hey Jeremy, thanks for coming. Right. I appreciate Thank it, man. Now, you're in an industry where there aren't a lot of Asians to begin with. How did you get into it? Like, what's your background? Um, well, the way I got into it, uh, like everything in the porn industry, is pretty opportunistic. I just happened to know, um, you know, some people, and um, you know, they uh, they asked if I'd be interested, and uh, I thought it was a good opportunity to, you know, represent for Asian males. Nice, nice. So obviously, there aren't a lot of Asians. Like, how do you find being one of the very few Asians in the adult industry? Well, because you know we're so rare, we you know we actually get treated, uh, you know quite well. Um, Not as just another piece of meat, right? It's yeah, still a piece well, of meat, yeah. but uh, and a, a unique piece of meat. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I've, I've had a lot of fun. Uh, it's been a great experience. Um, you know, I just hope to see other Asian males uh, join me. Yeah, very cool. Um, so I know this question is always on the mind of Asian males because of so many stereotypes. Does size matter? When it comes to like girls in bed, whether they're porn stars or regular girls. Well, I think from uh, you know a man's perspective, um, you, you have what you you have um, you know you got to work with it. So it's kind of a, a moot you know question, really. I mean, you just got to do what you got to do with what you have. Yeah. If you can't change it, work with what you got. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. So. Can you give any kind of tips for her guys? Like, you know, whether it's lasting longer in bed or making sure she can, you know, reach that climax. What are your tips? Because your working day is like hours, right? You've got to be with that girl. How do you, you know, last that long in bed? Well, so on set, um, you know, we have lots of things to help us out. It's a different environment. It's not like regular um, sex, but I would say, I'll, you know, in the real So porn isn't like real sex. Um, no, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously a fantasy. setting. Yeah. yeah. But um, you know, there are some things that you know I've learned uh, working in the industry that uh, I think can be applied in real life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's various supplements you can take that I think help blood flow and um, help um, uh, dilate your blood vessels. Okay. Um, like zinc, magnesium, uh, zinc, magnesium, arginine. Um, it's a you know a lot of people take it to work out, but it's also helpful to um, increase blood flow. You know, all throughout your body. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there's ED drugs that right. you know will help you um, you know maintain hardness. Um, so those are very helpful. I think uh, you know guys can. Uh, Go a long way with that. Okay, all things obviously other than the ED drugs, but like the zinc, magnesium, L-arginine, uh, you can get like any kind of over-the-counter yeah. or any kind of like muscle kind of workout shop. Um, are there any techniques you would recommend? Do you, when, you know, when you're there with a beautiful girl, I mean, are you thinking about like baseball stats or what's going on in your mind? Like, I can't well, blow my load right now. I think what's kind of misleading that we get from mainstream media, mm -hmm. from TV and movies, um, you know, they portray sex in this very romantic and, and intimate and slow, whereas I'm more of an aggressive kind of person. Um, okay. you know, I just do what feels natural, what, what you really want, and that's, um, that's kind of what happens in, in my real life. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's just me. Everyone has their own. Um, you know, technique or, or you know, preferences, but, uh, you know, uh, I mean, girls have been happy with. <laughs> cool. Now, whenever you're, you're with a girl, do you, you know, like you said, you're more aggressive. Do you think guys should be aggressive when it comes to making that initial kind of sexual overture? Uh, I, I know lots of girls um, are very attracted to aggressive men. Yeah. Do you have a particular move or it just, you know, something that pops well, in your I, mind? I think, you know, you just lower your inhibitions and just go with what's, uh, what feels natural. Okay. Now, you've got Asian friends. I've got Asian friends. I teach Asian guys. Biggest problem, though, with Asian guys is we have a lot of that cultural kind of inhibition. Mm -hmm. And then part of my job is to teach them how to overcome that, give them the various techniques. Like, do you have any recommendations to, like, the people that you're friends with? you know, when it comes to all the inhibitions that they have when it comes to sex? Well, I mean, you know, we're young. Um, we only live once. Just have fun, enjoy life. Um, mm -hmm. You know, don't hold back because you're going to regret it when, you know, life has passed you up. Cool, cool. Now, do you have any um, other last tips for the guys that are watching? Well, so something I've always um, thought of when I tell all my friends, uh, you know, we have preferences. Some of us are picky. Mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, having preferences, it's, uh, you know, basically nothing but a self-imposed cock block. Um, you know, just go for whatever's out there, and uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I definitely hear a lot of students that be like, "Oh, I want just six foot tall blonde." I'm like, yeah. "Sure, you can go for that, but yeah, you know, what are you normally attracting and work 
with what you have as opposed to kind of chasing that unicorn, thereby denying yourself the actual pleasure of Absolutely. really getting connected with this one girl that she might not physically be your type, but she might be, be a wonderful girl. Yeah, good point. Cool. Now, Jeremy, how can our audience find out more about you? Um, well, so I have a lot of work on AsianNishlong.com. Um, <laughs> we'll spell it out. It'll be in the description box. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and we're also recruiting uh, Asian males. So, you know, look at that. What it takes, please uh, contact. Yeah, me. Right, you could be the second biggest Asian male porn star. Okay. Um, so that website, check it out. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys. Thanks, and stay tuned for next week. What makes her decide to have sex with a guy? Yeah. Well, I mean, my first bit of advice about that would be, you know, the topic of consent is out there on everyone's mm -hmm. minds lately, it's especially with the uh, the California yes means yes bill, mm -hmm. and uh, which I think is great. It's it's a wonderful way to 